What's up, Zombs? We've been talking so much about classic characters returning to Resident Evil 7 that we've been ignoring a character that is already confirmed. That's right, everyone's favorite old bag, Camille. From sinister to senile, the woman has had quite the transformation from trailer to trailer, and it will be interesting to see how she relates to the other characters in this and or other Resident Evil games. Right now, most people believe that Camille is the mother of Marguerite, or most likely Jack, Grandma Baker. That very well may be correct, but what if there's more to it? Let's take a look at some other possible storylines concerning the old woman in the wheelchair in... Resident Evil 7 What if Camille was an Oswell Spencer lover or wife? Camille could have been the daughter of an affluent family of New Orleans. So far we assume the Bakers were just swamp trash, but what if the rest of their family was rich and possibly connected to Umbrella, or at least their leader? What if Oswell Spencer swept the wealthy and young debutante off her feet? Or perhaps Oswell met a young, uneducated swamp girl named Camille while she was waitressing at a local restaurant, but she was super hot, I mean, had a great personality, so he rescued her from her ordinary life, married her, and built her a huge plantation estate near where she grew up to make her happy. Either way, if Camille Baker was once Camille Spencer, the plantation could turn out to have even more secrets than we have seen so far. What if Camille is related to Lisa Trevor? If Camille is actually in the Trevor family, things might get weird. In the original Resident Evil, the mansion's architect, George Trevor, was told a lie that his wife and daughter were not at the mansion because they were meeting their sick aunt. What if Camille is this aunt? If so, perhaps her architect brother helped design this plantation estate. It could explain some of the mysterious design aspects and secret passageways we have found so far. It would also open up the possibility of a Lisa Trevor return. Most people already assume she did not die in this explosion, because she can't die. And a lot of game elements, like the dolls everywhere, have a very Lisa Trevor feel in Resident Evil 7. We have all heard the stories of lost pets finding their way across the country to their homes based on instinct. Why couldn't Lisa, who may be a monster but we know still has memories, instinctually find her way back to her aunt's house, where she may have spent summers as a child? It's not like her current home exists anymore. This theory would explain why perhaps Umbrella is lurking in the area. Not for the underground lab we thought they might have, but to try to find their lost experiment, Lisa Trevor. What if Camille is connected to a classic Resident Evil character? Jill? Leon? Wesker? Camille could be connected to these or just about any other character from the Resident Evil universe. Although, she might also be connected to nobody, not even the Bakers. Regardless of whether or not any of these theories are true, you have to wonder where the creepy Baker family from the trailer fits in. How did Jack and company end up in the house with Camille? Was this the living arrangement all along? Were they relatives who lived in a guest house on the property? Did they realize she was old and senile and basically move in by force? Is this why she appears to be drugged? Is she even alive anymore? Or are they just pretending to be related and taking advantage of her? There are so many different ways this could all go down. So no matter what, Spencer or Trevor or Baker will have to wait to learn more about Camille when we finally get to play... Resident Evil 7 Crimson Army, I want to hear your theories on Camille. Who is she? What is she doing here? Let me know in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe.